hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i get another request to test another game with a single stick of ram which is gta 5 and game loop beta which is game loop 7.1 we're gonna be trying pubg mobile again because that's the only game i have so enough talking and let's get started so as usual before we start i'm gonna show you my task manager again this is Ryzen 3 3200G, 8 gig of RAM, single slot, so single stick, GPU, Vega, add graphics, so alright for the first game I'm gonna be testing GTA 5 since it's a request, so let's get started, I'm gonna start streaming right, right away, alright we're live, I'm going to reset this. Okay, let's go back in game. Oh, it's my son. Hello, son. Okay. Wow, the moment we start streaming, the moment we get in the car, streaming is not smooth. It's not great. It's not awesome. So the the game is kind somewhat playable because it's more than 4, 24 fps so it's somewhat somewhat playable okay let me show you my facebook real quick <coughs> the stream as you can see the stream is not watchable take a look at that it's kind of kind of stuttering it's losing some fps it's, it's less than 30 fps so let's get back in game all right. This was a nice car. You see in game. The streaming is less than 20 FPS. I mean less than 30 FPS constantly. It's within 24 to 27 so it's not great for live streaming. It's not good. It's red over there. <coughs> so it's not streamable. It's playable but not streamable so yeah. I'm just gonna stop this, the test and let's move on to another game. Alright, the next game we're going to test is this game again. Why this game again? Because we are currently using Game Loop 7.1, which is the beta version. What's the difference between this one and the other one? The only. I'm not sure what's the difference, but the only thing I notice is this. The, uh, the game setting right here it has fps over there that's about that i'm gonna show fps here all right I, we're gonna start streaming right away and gonna start playing oh wow that guy is fast Yeah, I'm good. Right, we got kill. All right, nice shot. Oh. 
Oh my god, that aim, bro. My aim is really bad. Okay. Gotta heal. I'm scared for a moment there. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. I almost dead. Yeah, someone is shooting. I don't see him. Wow, that is really far. What the hell? Wow, nice shot, bro. Nice shot, buddy. All right, we got three kills. That's fine. But that's not what important. What important is we didn't miss or skip any frame yet. Uh, I mean, at least one. All right, we've been live for 16 minutes already. And we only missed three frames out of 29,000. Great, no skip frames as well. So the stream is watchable. And the only problem is the game. Maybe because of the map. Kinda intense. I'm gonna watch this until the end. Alright, not intense anymore. <laughs> See, this is beta version, does not represent the final quality. Okay, that's that's fine. Alright, let's conclude our test. So GTA 5 is not streamable. It's it's somewhat playable because of the frame is around more than 24 FPS, but what we did what we did during the test is only just driving, not getting shot, not getting into a wars or something, not starting a crime. So I can I say it's somewhat playable, but I'm not rec recommended to play this game on a single stick of RAM. Around 20 to 30 FPS with single stick RAM and around 50 to 50 to 60 FPS for dual stick ram so that's the difference between single stick ram and dual stick ram so for pubg mobile it's still fine it's still great even though using this game loop beta okay i'm sorry we're not talking about pubg mobile we're talking about game loop beta game loop 7.1 so great it's still it's good it's still streamable but the gameplay is not smooth though. Maybe because of the map is still beta. That's it from me guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like it. I hope it helps. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.